Hello everyone and welcome back to Satisfactory where we are going to try today complete the Christmas theme. See we've got our snowman up ahead and there's been a little bit of change with the Christmas trees and we'll go and show you that and I'll explain why. But first of all, anyone who says they're struggling for presents, see one there. There. One there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one over there, another one there, another one up there, another one there, and one here, which we're going to go grab this one. Oh, and one down there in the water, you can just see. This game is launching so many presents at me. Realistically, I don't need them. Now we've got this set up. I'll just squeeze through the trees so you can see. So we've got two trees feeding into belts here that are going down. And for the most part they're keeping up this one. Not so much as you can see, it goes down, it gets used pretty much straight away. Oh look, another present. That's the most I've ever seen spawning at one time, so I wonder if it's because we're getting closer to January, because the event actually ends on the 18th of January, I think I read. 17th or 18th. And so yeah, I think we're getting more presents spawned just to try and assist with that. But after this week, we can switch that off so it doesn't generate any more. So we've had a bit of a rejig in the factory and the first thing you'll notice is all the electric lines that come out have all been decorated and that uses one cable and one present. No, one bauble stack. What do they call them? Ornament bundles, there you go. One ornament bundle and one cable for each length to decorate those. Alright, we've had a bit of a change around in the factory here as you can see. We've got our iron and copper ingots coming in from downstairs. And they are feeding in to foundries which are set up and being fed from smelters making our blue and red baubles which in turn are fed through these two belts that are keeping up delivering presents from upstairs. The other present run from upstairs is coming down and this is one that's not really keeping up and is making two branches. I believe, oh no, that is still feeding. And that feeds all the way around here. We're looking at this, we are going to end up with a potential backlog of presents eventually. Because hopefully this thing is getting full up. Oh yeah, the 230 seat eventually that will fill and what we'll do is we'll run 112 presents in there to help it along so yeah that's feeding all the way around here to our assembler which is making our decorations and then we'll wind our way back so we're getting ornament bundles made here which if we climb up on here, you can see this feeds into a splitter which feeds into the assembler and round the side make a combination of our, what I'll call wreaths and decoration bundles. Yes, yeah, a fixmas decoration they're calling it. This is fed into by our 
copper and iron bar balls, which as I've shown you are made over here. Also got a constructor here to make candy canes. I've cut that off from present for now. And I believe this is also switched off. Yeah, this is on standby for making snow. And the reason I've switched those two off is because we've already got all the snow and present we could possibly need. And I think they're over here. Yeah, so candy canes, actual snow we need is over here. But we're going to take a quick wander over to our main factory as we're ready to do the next stage. It took many hours to get this far and I have to say coffee stain. Next time you do this Please have a little thought and consideration to how long it's going to take. I mean, it would have made a great group activity, don't get me wrong. But a solo project it takes too long. And that's why I've rejigged that factory because it was taking so long. So, into our little tractor. We'll have to go get some more coal for this at some point. Of course, we're not up to making packaged fuel or anything yet. That is my aim for next week, is to go and start on our fuel drive. Try and get oil, build up a factory producing our oil products, go on from there. And then it should be not too distant that point to get in our trains. Which I'll forgive you for forgetting if you have, but that is the goal of this series. This is taking so long. We're running down the hallway like a bat out of hell. One to here to our man. Right as the auto save completes. As you can see, Christmas tree upgrade number three. Four hundred of the bauble decorations. Ornament bundles, there you go. Never remember what they're called. Two hundred decorations and a star. Which you get from the advent calendar. We're gonna hit go on that. And there you go. We see you when you're sleeping. We know when you're awake. We know if you've been productive or not. So be efficient for goodness sake. Exactly, Ada. So the next one is... We need 100 decorations, 200 ornament bundles, and 500 of the bows which we should have actually brought across for us because we've got all that and then for this one 500 snow 500 bows 500 candy canes got all of that for some reason like an umpty I haven't brought it with us but what we can do we can do this inspect calendar so we had the 20 second there and all we've got to do is 23 oh, 25 bows not really helpful but thanks all the same 24 which is up here 15 bacon we'll take that and the final one, here it goes. 
Wow, a fused modular frame. Now we can't make those yet. That's cool. That's two items we actually got from this. But we can't make ourselves. We currently have no use for. Oh no, three, sorry. Because we've got our quantum computers as well. We've got a fuse modular frame, quantum computer, and superposition oscillators. And for some reason, we've got copper sheet in there. You know what? We're making plenty of copper sheet. What we're going to do is come over here and I'm going to toss it all in there. Say Merry Christmas, little awesome thing. See, it's up, and down, up, and down. Not doing anything. Amazing. In fact, it probably won't go up all that much because we are feeding in copper sheet at the other location. So yeah, I'm gonna go back, get that stuff. Alright, hey, you guys can come with me. Not a massively long ride. We'll feed it in. Oh, look, two more presents. That's the idea. Let's say anyone who's struggling I would say it's not that the game isn't producing it's just producing them where you can't see them due to the layout of your base there we go any more down there probably probably not another one up there it's insane really are so many presents available. Another one down there. The hill. I love that we do lose speed going uphill. It's infuriating in one way, but it's a bit of realism for the vehicles. And I'm not going to say that they've got the most advanced physics in the world, because of course they haven't. It's a nice touch just to have that, because I have known games where you jump in a vehicle and you could go flat up that hill over there. Same speed as if we're on level ground. It's crazy. Run over here. Jump up and high five at snowman. Oh look, another present, just what we need. As for that first lot of presents, come over here, dump them in there because every little helps. Yeah, 290 per trees now. I think it's using 25 at a time. I'll go check. Take all. So no, we've not got the full amount of these that we need yet. No, not that one. This one. Yeah, twenty-five at a time. Look, that's insane. Yeah, that's. Throw that whole bundle in there. I will pause the recording. I'll come back 
when we've got enough stuff to do those next two levels. But catch you in a second. So here we are guys, for the fullness of time. We can now go. Okay, cool. Drop them in there. As you can see. Actually drop them in there as well. We have got a 100 decorations, a 200 ornament bundles. We have got our bows. Don't actually need them once. Got our snow, and we've got our candy canes. Let's head over to the main base once again. Let's see, still present, started run. I believe, so I went and grabbed a few off screen. But I do believe they despawn over time. But the problem is, I left the game, it was running AFK. I didn't need to be here while it was growing this stuff. Probably been about an hour or so. And yeah, more presents just kept popping up everywhere. You go out and grab them, more come in. Just never ending cycle. The time is. I mean, don't get me wrong. If I'd built the Christmas factory a bit differently, set it up to make more of the ornaments, the ornament bundles, we'd been better off. No doubt about it. Time is taken is my fault. Because I should have put two assemblers in for the ornament. And then I could have cranked out much quicker on the decorations. But, you know, this is supposed to be a bit of a fun distraction. Whereas what we're finding. Stop and grab that. Is that the Christmas thing is becoming a full time thing? Slim Gaming Channel, I'll tell you. He's struggling. He's. I got a bit of a head start on him, to be fair. He came into the Christmas thing a bit later than I did. And he was struggling to find presents. That's less of a case now. But the time it takes to do this, it becomes a full time thing while you're creating content rather than a side distraction. Anyway, over here to the ma'am. We've got everything for this. Press the button, and there we go. Ooh. I think either a present just landed very near or something weird just happened. Oh, we can do our snowball. And I believe with this, you can actually use the snowballs as weapons. No talking to a serrator? Okay. Alright, now we have to make 500 stars. Wow. What we need to do is head back over to the main factory or oh, second factory this is main get your terminology right Nick we'll call this factory A and the other one factory B moving forward if I can remember that is there a present? oh yeah there's a present dropped really close to us Look. Everywhere. 
Another one coming down over there. Another one already landed over there. It's insane. As I say, I do think the instances of present has been ramped up. Because that's a lot even for us. Well, honestly, we don't need them anymore. I mean, I can feed them into our system, but now we've got those three trees auto generating presents, feeding them into the system. We don't actually need to go out and harvest any. Do we have any in the water? No, I don't think so. I'd love to know what's casting that shadow there. That rectangular shadow. Wouldn't have thought it's bridge because otherwise why is it not all the way across? But that's not important. What is important is getting this next stage going. Quite honestly, I don't know how long it's going to take. we are going to do is here we're going to take out a part of the belt the reason we're going to do that is because we're also going to take those and we're also going to take out that Is we want everything to feed into our assembler. So let's go across here, grab them out, put them there at success, and we are going to dump those in there. That should hopefully help that keep up. The next important thing is to our assembler here, which is already set up. We're going to tell it to make our wonder star. Dump them in as well. It's going to take a while to fill up with the candy canes initially. Not got any in there we can help out with. There we go. And that is going to take two minutes per star. Oh wow. Let's ramp that up. So one minute per star. Now let's go check our other production. So one minute. So that's not actually going to work as we're going to run out of reefs. We need five reefs. So in actual fact, we'll leave that in for a minute, but those boosts are going to be pointless because we've got this at full capacity. And this is producing five per minute. And if we look at this, that's producing one per minute. So yeah, that's going to tick over and production's never going to get any quicker than that so that's going to take realistically five minutes per star 
500. 2,500 minutes. I'll let you guys do the math on how long that's going to take to make those stars. I am going to have to do some... Oh, those stars are huge. They don't even fit. Yeah. Um, bad job on the scaling there, guys. Over at Coffee Stone. Yeah, as you can see. If I was to leave that in that spec, we're not going to produce enough stars to complete this this week. Let me just... I probably could do the maths in my head, but not whilst I'm talking to you guys, so... Let's just bring up the calculator. 2,500 minutes divided by 60. Yeah, 41.6 hours. That's insane. Completely insane. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to cut the recording here. And I am going to work out a way of doubling up our production, at least. And we need 41. If I want to get it to 20. 10 hours, I need four times our production feeding into this. Which means four times that. Four times that. Just to feed that one because we can ramp up that. I mean, that's, yeah, three hours on that. It's insane, guys. Um, anyway, I'm going to cut it here. If you are not watching this video on the Wednesday evening, know that the decision all stems from this point because of how the, this Christmas event is structured. I want to finish it in this video. But as you can see, there's going to be a lot of downtime involved to do that. All right, I'm going to cut it here and I'll see you when I've somehow managed to get us 500 stars. Welcome back guys. Um, as you can see from this view we have here, been a bit of a change around going on. Got a whole bunch of presents laying around everywhere. But we don't need them. We are finished. And I can tell you now that it is almost lunchtime on Chris on New Year's Eve. Nearly said Christmas Eve there. On New Year's Eve, my PC was running all night just to produce these stars. As you can see, production rate 0 0.5 per minute. Which means it takes two minutes to make a star. You need 500 of them. That's a thousand minutes. If you have the production fully set up to do it. And I didn't. Going into it. Now what we've got here is got a bunch of trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 14 trees guys what we can do is send that through and it can do whatever it likes it's going to rip it all out soon we have 14 trees all creating present all just to try and feed the behemoth oh yeah 
We're not actually going to have the room to pick those items up. What we can do, though, is I can say presents. Not needed. Actual snow. We'll keep hold of the actual snow. Because I believe there is a use for those. Yeah, let's head over to the main hub. Over at Factory A, and we're going to unlock the final part of the big tree. Now, I haven't seen any other videos where they've been doing this other than Slim Gaming Channel, and he only got to level 2 on his tree. And he gave up, and I have to say, he's probably the sensible one in all this. Because. I can tell you. Let's turn my game volume down. Yeah, I can tell you that I have put in. I've double checked. And it is now 40 hours since I started setting up for video 27, which is where we got involved with Christmas in depth and really went for it. Check the time on my saving because it gives you a running total of total game time. And yeah, I had this running 19 hours solid yesterday before I come off it, had a little break, let the graphics card cool off and whatnot. I mean, don't get me wrong, there was no issues with my graphics card. But this game pegs it at a hundred percent. Nineteen hours solid at a hundred percent. That can't be great for it. Anyway, we're gonna come here. We're gonna go here. We're gonna click start research on Christmas tree upgrade four. Analysis of giant fixmas tree upgrade four is complete. Please choose a new node in a tree to begin a new analysis. You better watch out. 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 Fixmas is coming to town. Okay then. Um, of all the things you could have said, that's probably one of the most random. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here. We're going to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff in here. That I'm not really using. Right now. Hold that. Keep off. Yeah, it's always good to have a few cables on here. Rotors, we've got more than enough of those. We'll just chuck those in. And let that boost up. So we can do 13 coupons. That's cool. And I believe. Yeah, we've got two in there already as well. So let's just have a look. Before we wander over there. Giant fixmas tree. What do we need? We need a whole bunch of concrete. We can get that. And we need a hundred branches. Well, if we haven't got that over there, then we've got some issues. We'll run over here. What we could do is pull that out of there. That'll just that. No, we don't want to go down up that ladder. Yeah, that'll just. Get some production running. Let the factory cycle through. Not that it matters either way. Tear across the landscape on our little tractor here. We are almost out of coal, but it's fine. You may have seen we have got a stack of 100 on us. We can get up this hill. 
before it runs out, that would be cool. Just so we don't lose the momentum of movement. Up here, around the corner. Good to a halt. There we go. Right. Open a workbench. Throw that in. Awesome. I'm going to take those beacons. We are going to need them next time out. We're on across the impossibly long bridge once again. You can see all the presents, they have despawned. Now, I don't know if that's a reaction to us unlocking the final stage and the game going. Actually, yep, okay. Granted, you don't need those anymore. Either way. The annoying thing is... I'll grab all these. None of these are needed anymore. We can... Rid of all of this. Now the annoying thing is with this whole Christmas thing is you can't recycle any of the goods. You can't take the presents, the baubles or anything and throw them in the awesome sink. Which is a real shame. I mean, even if they'd counted like raw or that would have been something. But to go, no, we've just got to go with it. Except that we wasted our time on all these excess resources. But that's all cleared. So, what are we short of? The concrete. So, if we go grab three stacks of concrete, um, you can go, you can go, go, whilst we're at it. Put in the fence afterwards. Leave the snowman sat up there. Not doing any harm. Make our way all the way down to the bottom. We need the bottom? Yeah, I think we do, yeah. So come up here. Right, round here, round here. Here, storage container one, two, three. So, get rid of some of those. We'll just hang on because I hate to get rid of something having missed it and then have to fire up again. All the way back up here. We're going to come right in here. We're going to hit the correct button. We're going to grab our tree. We're going to say blast. I didn't grab enough. Attempted to jump down there, but I feel it wouldn't have ended well.
one more stack. Take another one. <laughs> Just for the sake of it. Right, we'll turn our light off now, it's middle of the day. Run up here. I was like this, I kinda wish I'd put a ladder in. <laughs> There we go, we're up. Oh, that's huge. I'd like to come back so we can get a proper full look at that and enjoy it. There we go, folks. That's what the last three episodes and last 40 hours of my PC's life has been for. It's a shame it's had to come on New Year's Eve. But you know what? We're still in 2020. And the important thing is, despite everything, we've achieved it. So I'm going to take that away from it. So... Thank you guys ever so much if you've made it this far. It's been a long journey and quite honestly, I don't realise the amount of work that's gone into it. I probably wouldn't have gone for it in the end. But I do appreciate those of you that have stuck around for it. One other thing I will just show us. One little thing. We got a snow generator. That's one of the things we unlocked. Giant candy cane and wreath. We can put wreaths around. In fact, what I will probably do is I'm going to stick the wreath on the outside here. And we are going to leave this just for posterity as the final factory to the last few baubles making their way through there and yeah I haven't even shown you all this but it's insane it would take a long time to describe it all but essentially we had two constructors making our tree branches we had a belt go up here to a third constructor upstairs because we couldn't keep up with branches. We have four assemblers which were set up to make our decorations which feed in we've got one assembler here. And strictly speaking, to keep up we should have had five assemblers. That's how many this needs. And then to keep that running you need to be making these decorations. So that's another five assemblers you'd need. I only built four. But you could have easily had five of those and then come in here we had convoluted array of belts bringing the copper and iron bobbles feed into the four assemblers to create our decorations we had two constructors here which as you can see they're just working purely on candy canes that's all they did and I've had to 
literally ramp them up. So although the game does give you 20 power shards, it was nowhere near enough. Honestly, nowhere near enough. I will be going through and just stripping out the power shards at the end. Because it's insane. I literally had to go all around my factories, stripping out power shards from factory A and couple out of factory B just to get this running. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.